Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new makeup releases that are seen on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. Before we jump into this week's new products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this series, and if you have it and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday and for the month of December a video every single day. So there is quite a few bombshells that have dropped this week so we have plenty to go over. So I'm gonna start with Trend Moods page first. There are a couple of things I wanted to go over. Uh, first it looks like Colourpop is coming out with some new lip products. So it looks like there are some lip glosses and some lip balms. Uh, and they're coming out with lip scrubs as well. So the lip balms are six dollars each. I think that's a bit much for a lip balm but for me I'm, I'm a bit cheap i like my chapsticks i buy them in bulk i like my blistex also buy them in bulk um and they're all mostly tinted i'm not a huge fan of like a tinted lip balm because for the most part if i'm wearing a lip balm i want it just to be clear and just to moisturize you know i like putting it on right before bed too and first thing in the morning I would be interested in trying out their lippy scrubs because that's something that I'm really not good at is exfoliating my lips as often as I should. So I really would look into one of those. I'm just, I hope they have an unscented one. No, I think they're all scented. Yeah, see, I need to find an unscented lip scrub because I really don't like the scented or the flavored ones. Ugh. But I do need to work on exfoliating my lips more than I currently have, especially with the amount of lipstick that I've been wearing. So Fenty, I think, is releasing some new shades of the Mademoiselle, and the kit that they came out with for the holidays is now going to, they're all going to be released individually. So I do like the formula, not as much as I like her liquid lipstick. I'm actually wearing her liquid lipstick today, and I think this is Uncuff yeah uncuffed so I really do like her liquid formula the matte formula is still good I have the shade Griselda and it looks stunning absolutely love it I think I also have the green wasabi shade yeah I think I actually have that one the Griselda I have in a mini and wasabi I do have a full size I need to bring that back out I'm thinking about doing a green lipstick video let me know if you guys want to see that but the shade that I'm actually really interested in is the orange shade so what's that called it's called pumpkin rose I really don't have any like real orange orange lipsticks i think i have one so I, I am interested in that color along with the black because i know her liquid lipstick is pretty good in black i have not tried it out in this formula so i'm looking at those two shades in particular so beautylish is once again doing their lucky bags i've not ever gotten one of these and I'm kind of interested. Has anyone ever gotten a Lucky Bag from Beautylish? Are they actually worth it? Because they're $75, but they're supposed to have more than $150 worth of product in them. And I know they sell out pretty fast. They will be going for sale the day this video was posted, the 26th. So I'm, I'm on the fence. I don't know whether I want to grab one. What do you guys think? So this is a bit different. Kopari is coming out with a coconut charcoal toothpaste. Honestly, I've been kind of interested in charcoal toothpastes. Haven't actually picked one up to try out yet, but you lost me at coconut. I really hate coconut. I cannot, I don't like the scent. I don't like the taste. I, I couldn't. No. If it was just the charcoal, maybe, but it, it, coconut. Now I'm intrigued. Stila is coming out with a new liquid shadow called the shade mystery 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 they spell it m-y-s-t-e-r-e -E with an accent so I'll, I'll google it but these are supposed to be a magically transformative liquid eyeshadow where two marbleized shades morph into one shimmering color flipping shade on lids so Whew. So they have about six shades. I think they're the normal $24 price, but look at them. I love the glimmers and glows, the shimmers and glows. I'm actually wearing one of the glitter and glows on my eyes today. I think they are just one of the most user-friendly ways to get glitter, to get like an extra pop from a look. And I am intrigued. I need to see swatches. I need to see 
everything. I want these. Particularly, I want that red shade. Yes. I want that blue. Oh, look at the blue. Oh. And maybe like that yellowy kind of gold one. But oh my god. I wish they would come out with a little kit. I love Stila's little kits. That's how I got a decent amount of their shimmers and glitters and glows. <laughs> shimmers and glitters and glows. But I, I, I want them to come out with a kit of these because I would pick that up. Please. <laughs> okay, so these are some new CoverGirl products that were seen in the new CoverGirl store in Times Square in New York City. I was actually just there the other day and I tried looking. I didn't look hard enough, but I didn't see the store. So if I'm ever back into the city, I might try to check out that store because I actually haven't tried out a whole lot of CoverGirl. And I know they're doing this big rebranding, they're doing all this extra work, and I really do want to try out a lot of more of their products and actually like maybe do like a full face CoverGirl. But for the most part, I gloss over them when I'm in the drugstore. Um, so I was kind of sad I missed out on that flagship store. But there's some pictures of some new products. Um, they're coming out with custom nudes, lip color kind of thing. And I'd be interested to try that out. It looks like they come with like a mixing shade and some nudes. Um, but I'd be willing to try that out. It looks really cute. They're $10.99, but it comes with a, what does it come with? Okay, so it is an all-day liquid lipstick color, but then it comes with a moisturizing top coat. So I think it's supposed to make it both moisturizing and glossy. So I'm interested in those. I would be interested in picking up a couple of those. I don't know if they're fully released yet, if they're only in that flagship store, but I'll keep my eyes peeled. Alright, so this is something I was interested in when they first showed, like, the very first sneak peek of, like, two of the shades. And I was like, oh, I really want to try this. I, I even commented on the photo. I was like, oh, I can't wait. And then they showed the whole palette. <laughs> so this is a new palette from BH Cosmetics. It is a mini Zodiac palette for Capricorn. And, of course, this is beginning a new line for them. They're going to come out with a new mini Zodiac palette for each sign. And Capricorn was the first one. So I first saw like two of the nudes and the highlighter and I was like, oh, this is going to be so cute. I can't wait to see what other colors are in there because Capricorn's a very earth toned sign. So you see a lot of browns, greens, deep reds, those kinds of things. So I was expecting maybe a green or two. It's literally all <laughs> browns. <gasps> so I, I was going to jump on this and pick it up because it's cute, right? Mini palette. Capricorn but I can't I have way too many browns and it, nothing about this not even the swatches look enticing so this collab and release from Colourpop totally went over my head but I feel like they come out with stuff so often I there's no way I could keep up with all of it this is another collab with I Love Sarahi, and they have an eyeshadow palette called like Through My Eyes now this looks like just like the last palette they released with Becky G, I think it was. It's the same warmy, neutrally kind of thing with the blue. And then there's like a lip kit with some of the lipsticks, but meh. I've definitely been more turned off from ColourPop lippies a lot recently because even if you're looking for affordable lipsticks, there are better options out there that don't make your lips feel like raisins, right? So this one, it's it's gonna be a no. So Natasha Denona just released another new mini palette, and this one is the mini nude palette. I was a bit underwhelmed here. I was expecting something else, but I, I love the idea of these mini palettes because they're $25. You still get a decent amount of product in here. They're mini, and they mean mini. If you've never seen one before, it's about the size of your finger. So it's like that big. That's how big they are. But I still think if you're interested or curious about Natasha Denona, try out one of those first. Maybe that, or if you're interested a lot, try out one of her five pan, the actual size palettes. Those run about $45. Don't just jump in and buy like a Sunset palette or the Tropic or something. You need to like start a little bit small, especially when you're looking at that kind of price point. This one, I think... It's good to have in their permanent line. I can see how she's creating a line of permanent minis. So it definitely fits in. She's got the mini Sunset, the mini Leela, the mini Nude palette. 
I'd be interested to see another mini colorful palette, maybe more blue or green. That would be a nice one. She made a mini of the blue green palette, which I have that blue green palette. It's huge. I need to use it more. But I mean, I like the way that she's going with these minis. I think it's very smart. And I think if you are interested and you want to pick up a palette in the Natasha Denona formula that you can use every day, this is a great option. So this is something I'm actually pretty interested in. This is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. He's coming out with a set of like lipstick collection stands that would fit the full size of the lipsticks. Now I only have about like four or five of the full size lipsticks, but I do have all the minis that are currently kind of jumbled on display. I'd be interested in getting that if I could definitely fit the minis in there, but then I'd probably have to get two of them because I don't think I could fit all of them in there. But anyway, I think this is actually a nice thing to come out with, especially when people are such collectors and they want to have things on display. So I'm intrigued. I'm thinking about picking this up. Um, I'm trying not to pick up too many like decorative kind of things now because my boyfriend and I are looking for apartments. And if we do move, I'm not going to have this much space. So I didn't want to pick up too many things. But this is something that I'd be interested in, especially when um, the lipsticks aren't in there. You can like fold it together and like, I guess, take it with you. But it, I think it's a really good, smart move. All right, all right, all right. The sneak peek heard around the world, around Instagram. This is what maybe, I don't think they've confirmed it yet, is the new Urban Decay Naked Palette. The reason they discontinued the original Naked Palette. Mm. While I wasn't a fan of the original Naked Palette, I never actually picked it up. I picked up the Naked 2, the Naked 3, the Naked Smoky, the Naked Heat. I never got the first one because I feel like when it first came out in its day, it was groundbreaking. Palettes weren't really a big thing back then, especially that kind of palette. I do think the ratio of mattes to shimmers was way off. I think it's only two mattes in that whole palette. So I can see where I think they're trying to fix that ratio. But this is, I mean, mm. I feel like they're still living in like whenever that palette was, it 2009, 2010. But for right now, th this palette doesn't really fit in. It's not really trendy. It's not really exciting. It's not groundbreaking in any way. Yeah, I think I, I think it is a bit of a letdown. But then again, they hyped up their line. They hyped up retiring the Naked palette so much that I really don't know if anyone's going to be happy, like no matter what they did, right? I don't know. I'll wait for the official announcement. I'll wait to see swatches. But looking at this right now and at the Naked palettes that I already have in my collection, no. So switching over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, something that isn't necessarily makeup themed that I really, 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 really want <laughs> is this sweatshirt. So it's so cute. It's by Time Los Angeles and it says, never judge an eyeshadow by its swatch. And I think it's super cute. If they have this in like black, a black hoodie, I'm getting it. <laughs> I think that's so cute. Oh my God. I don't know. Sidebar. I just thought that was really cute and I really want it. <laughs> I'm a bit confused by this kind of sneak peek. Like, what does this serve? Like, I know a palette's coming, but if this is the state in which the palette is in, is this not months, if not a year away? I, I think this is a bit obnoxious. Like, there, this sneak peek does nothing. I don't really know the brand. I'm not gonna keep anything in mind. It doesn't entice me. It doesn't tell me anything. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'm being petty, but I don't understand why these types of sneak peeks. Like, we don't need a sneak peek about everything, right? Especially with how oversaturated the market already is. It's like, what, are we going to sneak peek when someone actually, like, puts a blueprint up on a drawing board? Like, we don't need to know everything. <laughs> I would like to know when an actual product is there, but... Switching over to another account, this is Hot Fire Makeup. Natasha Denona is coming out with a new like mini diamond and glow like palette. Again, with the minis. I have a mini of, what's the front? Let me grab it. So I have the mini of the blush and glow. So this is just a little thing. I really wanted to try a blush and a highlighter. Honestly, 
I've not been reaching for this that much. I need to pull this out and use it a little bit more. But I do like the compact. You get a cute little mirror in here. It's a nice size. And it's I like the highlighter a lot. Like, let's see if I can just do a little. It's very, like, kind of subtly. A little bit. You can see it. But I think the new one that's going to come out, it's called Diamond and Glow. So it is going to be another blush and a highlight. So it if it's something too similar to the one that I already have, this one, then I'm not going to pick it up. But I do want to see like what the shades are because I do enjoy this one even though I don't reach for it as often as I should. Just a quick update. This is what the little mini palette looks like. It looks almost identical to the one that I already have. So I am going to be passing on this. But if you don't already have one, I do think it's very cute and it is another affordable way to try out the Natasha Denona formula. And the last thing I want to go over are some new lipsticks. These are from Black Moon Cosmetics and they look stunning. Now I know I'm not one to go for like a metallic lipstick, oh, but these, these are doing something to me. These look amazing. So they're $18 each. The two new shades are Mermaider and Emperor and they just, they look really pretty. And I haven't tried anything from Black Moon Cosmetics either, so I'm thinking about this. I think they sell within Riley Rose, is that right? I could be making that up, but I do have a local Riley Rose, so if these are within Riley Rose, I definitely like want to swatch them and take a look at them, but I don't know if I would go out of my way to pick them up online, but they look so cute. Oh. Alright guys, and that's going to be it for this week's edition of Weekly Wow. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it. As always, let me know what you guys think of all these products down below. If there's anything you're really excited about, if there's anything you're just like bleh about, let me know what you think of that new Naked palette. Because I'm sure there's a lot to say there. Thanks again for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.